Hey guys, welcome to episode two of the TD Ameritrade API tutorial series. Isn't that a mouthful? <laughs> so today we're gonna be working on getting quotes and sorry if I wasn't clear last time. To get to this really useful page, the documentation, we go to APIs up here. Then we're going to go down to quotes. And since we're gonna to want to get multiple quotes, we select get quotes with an S. <laughs> awesome, so now we're at the page we need to be at. We can go ahead and start in Python. So the first step would be to import request. That's gonna be the first step of every tutorial, basically. Next, we are going to add our key and we get our key by going to that nifty little website and it's going to be right here you just select it from the drop down i'm not logged in on this browser so i don't see it but it's going to be right here it's going to autofill this for you you just copy whatever's in this box and you paste it into here into this key next we're going to create a function let's just call it get quotes something simple um but first we actually want to give it unlimited uh, arguments we do that with the kwards at least in this tutorial series, you're going to see a lot of the kwarg, so hopefully by the end of it, you're really familiar with working with the uh, unlimited arguments, keyword arguments, I should say. Next, we need to create the params dictionary, empty variable, just like last time, and let's give it the key. We can do that like so, API key, and key. So this is just giving the parameters dictionary the key, or the API key that it needs to authenticate. Next, let's go back to our website and see what parameters this particular API endpoint needs. And it looks like it only needs two. It needs the key and it needs the symbol. So enter one or more symbols separate by com. You can go ahead and test it out on this website. But basically from this, we can learn that it needs multiple symbols. So that means just something like Apple, Tesla, AMD. Since it's going to be a list, we can go ahead and create a symbol list, list variable, not dictionary, list. And we can go ahead and create a for loop. So for symbol in, okay. We're going to need to get it from the arguments up here. So get symbol. So this right here, it's basically saying for every symbol in argument symbol, which is gonna be passed up here, we're going to want to add it to symbol list. Awesome. So this on its own doesn't actually do anything. We're going to need to give it to the params dictionary. And we do that by doing params.update. And we're going to want to pass, we're gonna to want to update the symbol key with a value of symbol list. So now the parameters is getting the symbol variable that is going to be sent. And as its value, it's getting the whole list of arguments we're giving this function. And again, I apologize if I'm explaining that really terribly. I've never been a great explainer, but hopefully through showing you guys how this works, you'll get the hang of it eventually. Awesome. So we're pretty much done. We're just going to return. We're going to get, we're going to create a request. We're going to give it the URL and we're going to give it the parameters, which equals parameters. Oh, and I just noticed we we actually didn't create a URL variable. So that one's really easy, actually. We're going to go back to this website. We're going to copy this resource URL. We're going to go back to Python and just paste it in there as a string variable. OK, so now we have a URL, URL variable. And lastly, we're just going to tack on that JSON because otherwise it wouldn't really return anything useful. So now we can go ahead and delete that pass. We are going to test this by doing print get quotes and let's give it oh yeah we have to do symbol equals a list so let's do apple let's do tesla and amd so let's go ahead and run and you should get something like this apple tesla and amd data now normally i would end the tutorial there but let's actually go ahead and create another function let's do git o h L C and that stands for open high low close which is basically what you need to construct candles let's also give it unlimited variables or arguments I don't know why I keep saying variables and basically with this we are going to create a function that gets us cleaner data because I mean getting all that data is really great but you're gonna want to do something with that so let's just get the open high low close so to do that, we're going to do data equals, and we're going to call the get quotes function. And of course, we're going to have to give it the symbols we want. And let's just do Apple and 
A and B. <laughs> Just two. And you know what? Actually, scratch that. We need to pull it from this function symbol. So we're going to do symbol equals kwords.get. I cannot type today, sorry guys. Symbol. Okay, so now data is set to the function of get quotes symbol. And we're also going to do for symbol in kwords.get symbol. Print symbol just to make sure everything's working right and print data symbol and it would be I guess open price yeah do a comma and you know what since I'm lazy I'm just gonna copy all that paste it comma paste comma paste okay open price high price low price and close price all right, and let's delete that pass again. I figured we'd do a little something extra here. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I also try to post some really interesting stuff from time to time. I also want to give a huge thank you to my recent subscribers. It really helps motivate me to continue making these videos. And other than that, I will see you guys next time.